truth befell you this past holiday? Was it fire? Blood? Explosion? Smoke? What other disaster? And sadly, for several years, that's what I was greeted with by my anger micro teammates when I would come in after vacation, <laughs> and unfortunately, it was for good reason. So the star of this speech is she, Hart RV. And pass a picture around. It's a license plate. It's our last name, she, with the heart because it's a personalized plate, and the letters RV. With great anticipation in scouring the internet, Auto Trader magazines, classified ads, my then husband and I decided we wanted to find the perfect family movie. Not a minivan, as most people would expect. We wanted a motorhome. A vacation on wheels. And so we went and got one. And not just any one. We bought a 1980s brown with stripes on it. Mm. Even brown carpeting. It was a class seat. the kind that had the bed over the top. And we bought it for, from an RV dealer. And we got a good deal on it. We didn't filch it or anything like that. We got a pretty good deal because in the summer is what we could afford. And so we bought it. And a couple trips to Walmart later, we had some sheets and some cookware and some family games, and we were ready to go. So I'm going to take you on the next five minutes on a little journey of our vacations in the She Heart RV. <laughs> there was first Thanksgiving, then we had Christmas, and then we had the most memorial of them all, Memorial Day. <laughs> so first Thanksgiving. So we bought the, the RV at the end of summer, and so in Thanksgiving we decided we're going to make the first big trip. We're going to go for four days down to my parents' house in San Diego. Because what parent wouldn't want to have a brown RV sitting in their house for four days in front of them? So we get on the five freeway, two kids, family dog, jubilant parents, and we're headed down, and we're about to Oceanside, and all of a sudden you hear this BOOM! Explosion. <laughs> I mean, literally. And then you hear the thud, 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 thud song, and of course, we blew a tire. So we pull over to the side of the road in Oceanside, and we say, hey, no big deal, inconvenience, we got AAA. So we call AAA, and the nice lady says, I'm sorry, you don't have optional RV coverage, we can't help you. Oh, no. So it was a holiday, it was Thanksgiving Day, no hope of getting a tire, so for the first time, we have to call my parents and say, please, can you come get us? And they did, 45 minutes later, we're up and going. But before we left, we made a handmade sign similar to this, because I have girls and we have these things on board. Please don't tell me. So we put it on the dashboard, took off, and that was Thanksgiving. Now, licking our tire wounds, replacing all four tires, we're now going to go on Christmas to Kevin's parents' house. That's my ex-husband. And there they live outside of Sacramento, about an hour outside of Sacramento, in an area called El Dorado Hills. So once again, we pack up the two kids, the family dog, and the not-quite-so-jubilant parents this time, <laughs> and we head back up the five freeway, this time headed north, and we are going. Now, normally that trip is about eight hours, and the good news is, is we had the hotel on wheels, so we didn't have to stop for food or bathroom breaks or anything, and starting to get a little later in the day, we turn on our headlights, and we're just kind of, you know, hanging out. And we start driving, and all of a sudden the cabin lights start to dim, and the mm -hmm. dashboard lights start to dim, and the headlights start to dim, and... Soon enough, we're back on the side of the road again, stranded, and the kids here in the RV stop yell, you know, jubilantly, "Right, Grandma's home!" <laughs> <laughs> now we're really stuck on the side of the five freeway again, and uh, Merry Christmas to us. So once again, that happened to be the alternator belt that time. We waved the sign, <laughs> put it on the dashboard, and said, "You know, please don't, uh, please don't tell me." And this time, we called Kevin's parents and said, "Please, can you come get us?" So an hour and 15 minutes later, we are uh, back on the, on the road, and uh, after that trip, we managed to replace every single belt we had on the RV. In fact, at the end of this whole process, we replaced any rubber part on this RV. <laughs> so we finished Christmas, then comes the last and most memorial. So this one on Memorial Day, we were headed down to Camp Lynn on the Bay down in San Diego. It was a family camp for a YMCA program, a dads and daughters program, a camping thing, and once a year, mothers are allowed to come. And we get down there, and we have a really nice time. We get on Friday, and Monday we're ready to leave, pack up the camper, we're headed up the road, and we are about at uh, Lucadia, where there's a lagoon on the side of the road on 5 freeway. So I'm in the back bed with the girls playing dolls or something, I don't remember what, and Kevin's driving, and then all of a sudden I start hearing, honk, 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 you know, honking, 
I look out the back window of the RV, and sure enough, there's people pointing at the RV. <laughs> oh, no. About at that exact same time, and maybe it's just my memory on this, I hear Kevin yelling from the front. The first sentence, I cannot repeat here. The second, very clear and audible, was, Get out of the RV! <laughs> so, I grab both the kids, go to the side door. This time, he has leaped out of the driver's door, come around, and what seemed like five minutes, really probably was only 30 seconds, to get the door open. He's got a panicked look on his face, and I, he says, you know, get out now and run. Run to the bushes. I'm thinking, all right. <laughs> so I do what any sane and mother of the year would do. I take my older daughter, and he shot her out of the freeway. Oh, gee. <laughs> but luckily, he was off the side of the road, so it wasn't as dangerous as he thought. I grab her other one, we start to run, and literally we're running, and you can't really run with an appendage of a kid on the side. But I do look back. And on the side of the camper, Kevin's standing there, and he's got the gas cap open, and there's flames. I mean, literally flames shooting out of the side of the camper. He's realizing at this point in time, it's not a good place to be, and so he also runs the hills. And how that thing didn't explode, I don't know. Only for the grace of God, I think we didn't die in that example. But that was the uh, three of the great examples of the RV. I'm very happy to report that uh, when I come to work now, after vacations, my coworkers don't ask me about disasters. <laughs> but more specifically, I'm very happy to report I don't own that camper anymore. <laughs> 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 Did it survive?